I can't help it if people uh, contact me for prayer and 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 they get healed and the doctor says, "Well, it's a miracle. I can't explain it." I'm just telling you the truth. That's all I am. I'm just telling you the truth. In Isaiah, Isaiah was a prophet that uh, Jesus quoted. Isaiah lived 800 years before Jesus. And um, Isaiah prophesied to God's chosen people, the Israelites. They were his chosen people, and he allowed those people to be taken into captivity. Why? Because they lived by their own values rather than God's. Now, if you're sitting on a bed riddled with cancer and you have not professed a belief in Jesus, maybe it's down deep in your heart and maybe in your memory and you say, well, one of these days, today, I want you to ask Jesus to come into your heart. Do it right now. Jesus, come into my heart. See what happens. Even if you're riddled with cancer and the doctor tells you you've only got a couple of days to live, six months to live, what have you got to lose by saying, Jesus, come into my heart? It says in Isaiah 5.13, I was... I lost my train of thought here. Therefore, my people will go into exile for lack of understanding. If you don't know Jesus, you have a lack of understanding. And I'm only saying this because I love you. I want you to spend eternity with Jesus. And I want you to get healed. I want you to get healed says in 1 Peter 2.24. I, I keep getting reports. My, my wife, uh, or not my wife, my daughter, contacted me last week. And, and uh, she asked me for urgent prayer for this, for this man. And I can't even remember what the malady was. And I prayed for him. And he was in the ambulance. By the time he got to the emergency room, the doctors told him, this is nothing more than a miracle. What happened? Well, God interceded in his life. Now it's up to him to gain knowledge and go to the Bible. If he doesn't, he'll be just as ignorant as the Israelites. Ask Jesus into your heart right now. I dare you. What could you possibly lose? What could you gain? I've made that challenge to atheists. I've laid hands on people with little or no faith. And they've been healed. And some of them lost their healing because they would not get into God's word. But that's uh, when, uh, somebody who gets healed with little or no faith is the exception rather than the rule. Ask Jesus into your heart right now. Go ahead. Even if you've been a, uh, going to church, ask him anyway. Maybe you've been just going to church and going through the motions. Ask Jesus to do something in your heart that he hasn't done before. Ask Jesus to heal you. Ask Jesus right now, Lord God, do something. I believe God will act. I believe God will communicate with you. That's how much faith I have in him. This is Pastor Dean. I love you. Talk to you later.